Alrighty, Gemini, so this is going to be your reading for August 6th through the 13th. Thank you guys so much for joining me if you're a returning subscriber. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. And sorry guys, there was like this weird thing like in the corner. Um, anyways, but thank you so much for joining us. Make sure that you subscribe and join the tribe. And if you do... Uh, do not resonate with this specific reading. Make sure that you do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus video so that you can get further messages. And I also will have the extended version for this video and all my other videos posted on my Patreon where we do extended content and we do um, giveaways and free question um, live streams twice a month. Make sure that you join. I do have basic basic memberships jesus basic memberships for three dollars and 33 cents and if you do want personalized readings monthly it's only eleven dollars and eleven cents so definitely sign up for that and we're gonna hop straight in okay everything that you need is listed below for readings all of that stuff so let's get into this so what i'm seeing for your spiritual messages we do have fill up your well and we have soul family so with both of these cards i am seeing that you are definitely needing to take some sort of break here um and you may be feeling as if like you're going through all of this stuff alone but you're not uh you definitely do have people around you that may be going through the same thing as you and know that everything that you're going through is guiding you to your true heart's desires here okay um and you've been you've been working on this for a life for lifetimes alrighty and what you're gonna be needing to really pay attention to this week what you may encounter we do have Saturn here um and this is talking about truth so let's go ahead and look at that what this is talking about this card would represent the three of swords so there may be a heartbreaking situation. This does talk about restrictions, um, penalties, shattering experiences, disappointments, also growth, um, having a bit of tough luck, being put on hold, uh, feeling denied, something flawed that needs to be corrected, the truth, of course, what you need to know. Um learning through hardship and emotional pain staying focused on your path here this just this just talks about really and truly it says if this is a time of sorrow and hopelessness remember it is all about diligence sticking to what you believe in and adhering to your goals this is a period in your life that emphasizes toughness and work it is all about not giving up and following through Saturn also deals with power and control, often meaning law enforcement and the military. You may have encounters with law enforcement at this time. Do watch for this possibility. Um, although, the, although the encounter may not necessarily be a negative one, if it is, though, you need to play by the rules and do what is thought correct and expected. Um... <laughs> Oh, okay, so it says, on a positive side, you may meet a fatherly type who may help you advance with your goals. Saturn can sometimes herald the appearance of sage or a teacher. This will be no small thing, can indicate a mentor arriving just when you are in the most need of them, okay? Dealing with an age, um, with the age may be an issue now or in the near future. A problem with the bones, joints, or skeletal structure may crop up. Alrighty. So that's just a little brief look at that. Uh, definitely pay attention to those things that day, okay? So if you're seeing like a spiritual teacher like me, okay? Um, or if you're just needing a mentor, guys, um, again, you guys have soul family out there. You have people out there that can really help you, okay? What I'm seeing for your love life, we do have calling in your soulmate. We have chemistry. 
and we do have attraction so you guys may be dealing with somebody who you're very attracted to and this may be a soulmate there's like this thing where maybe this person showing you something um, that you've never seen before or teaching you how to evolve here again I'm just seeing this energy of somebody really backing you and supporting you so that may go with the whole Saturn um, card and with attraction being here you may really like the way this person smells or this person just may have you in this very trance stage okay but um let's get into your spread we do have the hangman the star card and the page of swords at the bottom of the deck so you may be hanging on to a situation that you have a lot of hope for but at the same time um you may be very like inquisitive of like what this person has um going on here also i am seeing that you may also be feeling a sense of stagnant energy with an aquarius or just with the situation um that you feel like is a soul tie here um and you're really just really trying to communicate with this person to find the truth uh this person may be holding back information from you you may be dealing with an earth sign here if not an earth sign, this person may be holding back because they're focused on their finances, okay? But what I'm seeing, we do have you as the world card coming into this week. So with the world card being here, there is a whole bunch of changes going on around you. What are these changes? What are these changes? Yeah, you may have to walk away from a fire sign here. Um, you may be very dissatisfied with what you may have been receiving um and a cycle is closing um also a person that you may offer your emotions to may reject that so keep that in mind um and i am seeing that you're really sad about that in the past we do have the five of pentacles so you had to leave a situation out in the past also there could have been issues with finances here what is this five of pentacles here for yeah you had to leave something out in the cold so that you can manifest some change into your life um there could have been uh, a need for you to balance out your energies also there may have been a legal situation with a sagittarius where somebody stole money okay um or there may be a situation where um this person may have libra or sagittarius in their chart too but um this person may have um been a karmic tie to you especially if it's a Sagittarius and I am saying that this person is avoiding this because there may be a lot of conflict in it and they feel like um what's the point of putting their time into a situation how it's affecting you outwardly you are the queen of wands so you could be focused on a fire sign or you could be focused on your creative pursuits here and also trying to regain your passion yeah there is some sort of shake up that's going on here um, with the situation that you may have been uh, given a lot of your time to but an obstacle we do have the seven of cups so with the seven of cups being here there is a lot of confusion you don't know which way to go this person's not making you a priority they may have a lot of options here yeah there may have been a heartbreaking situation because this person may have been moving a little too slow for you and not really expressing their emotions to that may be um, an issue but what i'm seeing for some helpful influences we do have the ace of swords so getting the clarity that you need within yourself past the fogged thoughts here also getting clarity from them or cutting off a situation that just doesn't work for you anymore yeah and also starting something new you may have a virgo in your midst um or you need to go within here because you may be very dissatisfied or this person may be very dissatisfied with what you're offering at the moment okay but what i'm seeing for what to do we have the chariot so push forward here continue moving forward yeah because it just may not be stable so what i'm seeing sorry guys what i'm seeing for what you should know you do have the four of swords so that there is going to be a break here because there's way too much confusion way too slow um and there's just issues moving forward here yeah and somebody wants a commitment so also you guys may need to see a spiritual teacher but um what is going on with my sagittarius i mean not sagittarius 
my Gemini's cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. So this person may be um, secluding themselves, trying to remain in secret. They may be focused on their success and they may want new love here. Um, there may be a cycle ending with you guys. And this person may be moving on here. There may have been some backstabbing going on here. Um, somebody may be focused on their finances or dealing with an earth sign. Ooh, somebody may be focused really on their abundance here. Let's see. What's going on with my Gemini's cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with? For August 6th through the 13th, please. So, yeah, you may definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius or any fire sign here. But um, I am seeing that this person um, needs clarity from you. Um, I am seeing that this person is very guarded. But they are willing to push forward here. I am seeing that they are stepping in their power. They may be focused heavily on work. They may have a lot of options, including an earth sign here. Heavy earth sign energy. This person may be emotionally immature in the first place, like not really wanting to offer you much um, at all. Also turning away from any feelings that they may have for you. Um, and they may be holding back. And they may, if they do come back around to you, just offer you a friendship or something. Yeah, because I don't feel like they're going to... They may have been stuck on you emotionally in the past, but this person's releasing it. They're no longer wasting their time with it. Um, yeah, there's no offer that's going to be offered here. They're choosing not to make a decision. They have no hope, and they just don't want to go down this path. They don't want to go down the path. So we're going to go ahead and finish this reading off on the other side. We're going to see what blockages for that week. Yeah, this cycle is closed. But um, what I'm going to do, we're going to end this on the other side. We're going to see what's going on. And thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.